Hi there. So recently I bought a carrier and um, it's not quite put together. It's one of these Living World ones. As you can probably see, it's, yeah, I don't have it together. But I found it was pretty expensive. I'm thinking on returning it because I have three rats and it's a little bit small for that. Um, I find they're pretty expensive and sometimes if you have to take your um, pet to the vet um, in a hurry, you don't always have time. Um, okay, that sounds bad. Responsible pet owners, people. Have everything ready just in case you need to go to the vet. Um, this is more if you're just, I, I'm going to say like quick trips to the vet, then you just need something um, to use while they're in the car. Um, this one I would probably only recommend for really tiny, maybe hamsters or rats. And I know that the wire is not good for their feet, so I definitely recommend putting kind of like a blanket in here. Um, like I have, for example, this like, Canada blanket just kind of like um, making sure you put up the sides you could even um, possibly clip it um, anyways this was just one these were $1.25 I got two of them and I just thought it would make a really simple um, carrier if you just needed something while they're in the car 15 minutes or whatever just to take them to the vet so you just pop off um, these handles well I guess, yeah, both of them. So just, sometimes it's actually a little bit difficult to get some of these off, but pop off the handles. Um, I'm not gonna bother taking these off for the demonstration, but obviously um, take those off, put the two together. Um, I don't know if you can see this. There's these little things where those went. Um, this will actually end up just going right through there and actually connecting and same on the other side. You can just pop one inside the other and then you'll actually see they already um, hold themselves together. And then what you can do is just take, um, you're gonna have to bend it a little bit. Um, one of the handle pieces, um, bend it a little bit and then just pop it through and you got a carrier. Obviously don't put your pet in while this isn't attached. Um, I would recommend, I mean, I guess technically you could just duct tape it around and they'd still be able to breathe. Um, I, I don't know if you want to do that. Um, you could also just, I mean, this holds together actually um, pretty decently well. You could just put, um, I got also this steel wire from the store. Um, just put some on one side maybe so you can kind of flip it up um, as a hinge. But yeah, I thought that made a really, really fast, simple pet carrier. I mean, if you just have a full blanket in the bottom for them and this is just sitting in the cage for 15 minutes on the way, I probably still wouldn't recommend it for a large animal, maybe a, um, like a baby hamster or a baby rat or something. Um, if you just need something to get them to the vet, or even you just need something to stick them in for five seconds while you grab something out of their cage, or like you just need to contain them for a moment. I feel like this is really simple. Um, so the second one was I got these, um, two baskets from the dollar store, and as you can see, I'm kind of getting the same kind of thing. Now, when I put them together like this, it already looks like, like a pet carrier. Um, so, actually I won't bother removing those for the video. So it even has the little bumps on the bottom that pet carriers normally have. Um, so you could, I guess, make it all fancy, try and cut um, a door here. Um, I, I wasn't gonna go that route. I mean, there could be, you could um, attach it all together, I guess, and then cut some kind of door here. Um, fold it up and clip it back down. Um, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see as I uh, go through this. So get out the wire. Um, I guess you could probably also just use, um, instead of wire, just use um, pipe cleaners. I find they work pretty well. 
Um, so, unfortunately, this wire roll is all falling apart now. Apparently, I can't <laughs> untangle and unroll wire. Um, and then, um, I mean, I guess you could use string or something. Um, your guys might kind of chew it a bit. I know my guys, it's weird because they're rats, but they don't actually chew that often. Like even their bedding and stuff, they just chew um, some certain things that they just um, really love, like cardboard boxes and stuff like that. But they're not big chewers on it, like much of anything else. So, um, again, this one's plastic. This one's not wire. Um, so if your guys chew through plastic pretty quickly, this isn't that thick, so I wouldn't recommend it for, uh, avid chewers. My guys would just kind of go in here and fall asleep because they're old and they're kind of lazy, and so that wouldn't really be, um, too big of a deal. So I'm just trying to wrap the wire and put it through all the holes here. Just trying to make sure that I don't actually wrap it like too tightly because I kind of want this to work as a, a hinge. I've not, actually, I've not actually done this before. You're seeing the, um, like I just went to the store today and got everything. So you're just kind of seeing the figuring everything out um, video. So, I mean, everything might not actually run smoothly. Um, I would just make sure that the pointy ends of the wire, um, either you tape them. Um, I mean, like, you could just grab some masking tape and tape them. Um, just make sure they're not sticking inwards. Um, so anyways, so put the, the wire all through one side. Um, kind of almost just skipping a step here. Oh, I bought, I don't know if you could even see that. So I threw it off so quickly. Um, metal shower curtain um, rings. You can just buy packs of 12 for the dollar store. I don't know if you can tell. I love the dollar store. <laughs> and then... This is not going through properly as I'd hoped. There we go. Clip one into that corner. Um... Clip another one into this corner. I'm sure some people that are much more crafty um, would be able to just build one of these. I mean, maybe out of wood or something. I guess that might get chewed as well. But if you're a little bit more craftier than me, you could probably come up with a better way of doing this. Okay. So now that... Oh, okay, that one just gets it like that. So now that I got all those um, through there... And this one, I guess I did differently than all the other ones. Um, your options for attaching um, a handle would be, I got this option of, I just bought shoelaces from the store. Um, this was just to show kind of how this would work. Um, I mean, honestly, just use anything around your house. If you're looking for um, like a cheap pet carrier, you're probably not going to really care that it looks fantastic um, and if it's just something that you just needed to make on the go. I mean if you already had these bins around the house uh, you might not even have to buy anything for this. Um, I mean you could tie these straight um, into here. I was just worried that they might just chew them. That's why I put the metal here because then when you grab these, I mean this is opening right now because I didn't finish the metal on the other side. Um, 
so that's that's one option um, is you could do the shoelaces um, another option was I grabbed this cheap dog leash um, if you didn't have anything on hand um, like shoelaces or you just couldn't find anything at the time um, you could just grab this dog leash and I think this will work out okay put it through there put it through that one and then just clip the end of the dog leash into oops I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there into the last shower drum uh, shower and then there you go you just this is how you're gonna pick it up with the dog leash so um, really simple if you are just looking for stuff that's around the house um, so then, yeah, so I, I'm just not going to bore you with putting, um, the wire all down the side. Um, so you put wire all down one side and then, um, I mean, probably any kind of clip would be fine. Just put it through to connect, oops, that didn't quite work. Put it through to connect the two, clip it in place. Um, obviously I didn't do that so well, you can see a big gap. I mean, if you had guinea pigs or a rabbit or something, um, that might be okay, but obviously I made the gap way too big. You can see on the side where I spiraled the, um, the metal, it's, um, it's not actually pulling apart. So that's good. Um, so that part is close enough that they're not going to be able to get out of there and yet still works like um, a hinge. I assume that when the metal goes all the way around, it'll be just as good. Um, I mean, I, I guess, again, you could just put masking tape all the way around. Um, I mean, you could somehow get something to clip either sides of here. Um, I'm just going to actually try instead of that pin, um, maybe just taking some wire and putting it through. You might want to actually do this one on this side and one on this side and just kind of, you know, twisting it like a twist tie and making sure again, these don't get into the cage to poke your guys. But then as you can see, now with that, I mean, it's not going to open enough for um, an animal to get out. So let's detach this so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, kind of give a, a bit of an end result kind of idea of what this looks like here. Um, Oops, it looks like I have actually twisted this inside. I mean, there's there's many ways that you could do this. You could probably cut, um, really get these uh, meshed together well and maybe cut some kind of hole here and strap it down. I, I don't know if I would recommend cutting the bins though because you might kind of, you know, they might become not really very structurally together anymore. Um, okay, so now that that's like that, um, another thing you could probably do is, you know, twist, put a twist up here, and then put a twist down here, and then actually connect them with some kind of clip in a way that they're both pulled together um, so that it doesn't come apart. Um, I'll just give an example of that now. Again, make sure the ends are not on the inside and make sure that um, you put some sort of tape or at least something around them so they're not gonna poke your pet's eye out or injure your pet in any way. Um, remember again, plastic, not good for chewers. Um, probably not gonna work if you have a guy that really likes to chew. Um, 
Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that now does. Just, I don't know if you can see that, but I've attached the wire here and I've attached the wire here. Now I've attached the clip in between. I mean, there's still a bit of a space. Um, so I'd say you could keep readjusting it and readjusting it until your space gets smaller. But honestly, the twist, just putting a couple twists between here and here seems like pretty simple. Um, easiest solution. Um, like you could just get a couple of little, these are little pretty twist ties that actually came attached to one of the products I was using for this. Um, so just get, put one here, 